So today is Saturday, so we don't both have work today, so we can actually have a full day of work on the car. <coughs> we're going to do the drop down table, so we're going to take this out and build the drop down table and it'll slide out. Hopefully we'll build that today and do a few other things, probably put the drawers on the pantry and if we have time then we go to Clark Robert and get our um, phone measured up uh, for this. We still need to put the slides on. We're just waiting for draw runners. I'm meant to be here on Friday, so I'll spill that we can't put them in this weekend, but here's what it is. So yeah, should should be good. This should drop down nicely. The table here, and then I'm gonna build a little runner so it pulls out as well. So when we have the drop down table, um, we're also gonna cut out the back of the door card, and it's gonna be a little spice rack for your oil, salt and pepper, spices and stuff. So. When you close it up, it's all there. When when you go to use it, you can just grab it out of the door cart. Should be good. So we're making it out of um, V group ply on this side, and then probably a proper like little um, bench, like 20 mil thick um, board. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So we cut out the drop down table Cut it out and obviously when you cut it you want to rust proof it So we're using um, just an edge primer for rust guard and then we'll just be painting over black just for extra protection and then we'll start making the drop down once we've painted it and then we'll have little draw runners that we went and, went and bought so we'll actually drop down and they'll actually pull out like that for a little separate kind of cooking table so that's what we're doing for our Saturday, Saturday night Finished off the little inserts of ply for the um, drop down table. I'm just going to cut a new piece because, as I said before, I put the holes in the wrong side, so I'm just using this now as a template. But you can see roughly how it's going to be. Um, it's going to go like that, and then you're going to have Spaces in there, spaces in there, spaces in there. So uh, there are oils, spices, and salt and pepper uh, in those three, and then there'll be a big drop down table. So I've still got to cut them out, but we've got to cut a new one now because obviously the holes. So, oh well, take two. It's starting to look good. So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high 
So it's all in, it's looking good, but we tried to test try the oil and look, it won't fit by the tiniest little bit. But if you take the lid off, it fits. So all we're thinking to do is just grind it a little bit because we have a little bit of extra, what, you, what would you say? So it's, it's lipped, everything's lipped, so nothing falls out. So there's about a 15 mil lip around everything. So nothing will fall out when you drop the table down. And there's, a, there's probably a, a 15 mil lip, same around there. And that's what catches on the top. But if we take out a little bit more, it should fit. It should fit. So that's how we're going. Bolts. These bolts are pretty ugly, so we're just going to paint them white as well. And it really annoys me that they're not even, but that's just how the door is. So so that that's where the door mounts normally. And I just rib nutted them in so they were in the existing holes. So it's probably the best for support wise. A bit ugly now, but once you paint them, you won't even notice. It'll look completely different soon again. So just measuring out, we have a nice piece of board here. We picked up from Bunnings <laughs> again. Um, we're gonna stay in it again, obviously, but we got a piece for our kitchen that's gonna be about 500, uh, about 480, so it fits perfectly, about 600, so exactly what we needed, and then this will be... But uh, also with this, it's gonna have our sink. Yeah, so this is gonna have a sink, obviously, cut out in the middle, but that'll be the actual bench top with the sink mounted and the mix in the corner, and then this is what we're cutting. This is just a template I use just for the door, so I didn't, I didn't mess it up. So this will work perfectly in this one piece to do for the door, the bench top, and then we're gonna have a little um, splashback so you don't have anything fall down the back of the kitchen. So we'll have to get another piece for the tops of our fridge, but we always knew that it was never gonna work. And also piece. for our slide out. Yeah, for our slide out. Even if the sky is falling down So we've had a pretty boring last two days. We didn't do much, but finally decided to get into it and make actually drop down slider. So that's the pull out table. So this is the underside of the bench. So it pulls out to about 500. It's obviously not glued and screwed down, but that's the um, obviously gist of it. Just keeps moving on me. And then that will be the We'll go in there and our other piece is just getting painted at the moment again for the last time and then it will fold up like that. I forgot that we didn't take a finished um, video version of our drop down table so this is what it looks like. It's very sneak, we're very happy with it. It's got the back job. The oil four spices and another four spices, salt, pepper, um, it all packs up away nicely. So, good as gold. But what happened there? You couldn't use the other drawer runners we had. So I was gonna use lockable push drawer runners, similar, not, not as big, but similar to those, but just push ones. But they were gonna be too wide. Um, for when we shaped this, it was gonna hit, so I ended up using just um, normal cabinetry draw runners, which still do the job, and they're rated to 50 kilos, so they you know, there's heaps. We love it, we think it looks so good. And then what did you use for this part? Used um, just wire and um, crimped them on both sides, and just did them the same, so. Um, so a bit more strength than just using rope. Like, I think these were, these could take 280 kilos breaking strength, which is plenty for this, more than enough. Yes, we love it. We just got to sand it and probably stain it and that's it. Sand it and stain it. So it hasn't been sanded yet. Obviously you can probably see in the corners, but it's done for now. Even if the sky is falling down